Hello and welcome to another episode of Husky Trails. In this video, I will talk about my experiences from our second time ever dog sledding adventure. So this is our setup. We use a kick sled. It can be used for one or two dogs and folds down for easy transportation. Okay, let's go. Get, get, let's go. Get. We use let's go or hike as the starting command, and G for right and haw for left. My dog already knows all the basic commands from our other mushing activities. The challenge here was more to get her used to this new setup and to have her understand that we are still doing the same thing as always, just in the snow with a different mode of transportation. So up here, I wanted to go left, but she was so excited about being out in the snow and was interested in the trail going off to the right that I had to repeat the command several times. But in the end, I managed to get her corrected. We're gonna go, huh? 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 No! No! Huh? Good! Good! Very good, yes! Here, I had to tell her on by twice because she wanted to stop and sniff. On by is telling her to keep going and ignore distractions. A kick sled with one dog is not enough dog power to pull you up a hill or through deeper snow on a straight trail. So you have to get off and walk or run and help push the sled sometimes. So you can see that even though Laika is not running, I have to walk at a very brusque pace to keep up with her. So you definitely get your workout as a musher too. We took a short break. I needed it more than she did at this point, but it's also a good opportunity to allow her to walk around a bit and sniff and pee. And it also gave me the chance to enjoy the winter wonderland scenery on this beautiful day. After the break, she's starting back out from a sitting position and you can see that her right leg got tangled up in the tug line. It took her only a few steps to get out of it because she knows from experience how to untangle herself. But this is something you need to watch out for because they can hurt themselves like this. You can also see that she keeps looking over to the right because it's the better trail for us. She then decides herself to go over where we have more space. This is something she does in general that I did not teach her. She naturally tries to pick the best path for us. Good line out. Okay, good, let's go. Very good. Line out is one of the new commands I'm teaching her. It is the command for the dog to stand still in the front and keep the line straight and ready to go. Up here is usually our halfway point. It is right at the lake and has a couple of good spots to take a break. I tell her to go left, but there is no clear trail. So you can see that she understands my command and is looking for a way to go. This needed a little bit of encouragement, but then she did it. Go ha, 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 yeah, good, yes, good. Hey. Come G, good, good, come G, good. Come G is another new command. It tells the dog to turn back around. She did this really well here. There were people at our usual spot 
and so I wanted to take her further up here to the right. But again, there was no trail, so Laika was very skeptical of my command. We're gonna go G. G? Yes, yes, G. Yes, good. Very good. You can see how she clearly listens to me and understands what I want her to do. She even looks back at me for confirmation. And then you can tell how proud she is that she got it right. I learned that it can be quite the dance at the back of the sled. I constantly had to switch between walking or jogging behind the sled and help push. Standing on one runner with one foot and pedal with the other and leaning and balancing out the sled when on it with both feet. This is on the home stretch and you can see a good example of a G coming up when she can clearly see the second trail. Gee, very good. And as always, a tired husky is a happy husky. Thanks for watching.